I don't consider myself a hero. People say you're at the right place at the, the right moment. And it all comes with preparation. And I think uh, the years of experience in martial arts is what allowed me to react the way that I did. The only thing that was going through my mind is that I need to save this little girl. She was about four or five years old, so the only thing I could think about was, was protecting her and saving her. And I've said this, is that in order to control the situation, you have to control the perpetrator or the offender. So if I could control him and put him down, it was easier for anyone around to take a child away. So that was the only thought going through my mind. So martial arts has always been a part of me. Growing up, I was at karate school. Um, I did kickboxing for many years. But over the last few years, my, my love for jiu-jitsu is with, it's where I am today. That's called a rear naked choke. Um, it's, it's a move where you actually control the opponent and you put him into a sleep. So at the end of the video, you will see the opponents kind of almost dazed out because he probably passed out by that time. And he said that it was a kind of a, a technique that would allow you to escape in a, in, a, in a situation and let the child be free. I got to meet the child yesterday. Um, she seems fine. And I think um, I just wish her all the best. And I'm glad that I could have done what I, what I did.